This has been an exciting time for the uh, cellular telephone market. Apple and AT&T had, had a partnership for quite a while and got dominance on the high end of the cell phone market. The last two weeks, as we all know, I've seen some problems with the antenna of the Apple 4 and everybody was kind of trying to make some guesses around it. My own technology understanding is that it's a minor problem and this is going to be fixed in the next few days. That's not a big issue. And only a small percentage of customers to begin with were complaining about it. What I really see as an exciting and a challenge for Apple dominance in the market is the Motorola introduction of the Droid X. That's a powerhouse machine with uh, four major characteristics unlike anything we've seen in the market before. For one, it has one gigahertz processor which can drive a lot of application on it, can do multitasking. It has a large 4.3 inch screen with a superb resolution. The battery life, unlike the uh, iPhone by Apple, which dies every few hours or so, at least my own personal experiences and avid users, is claimed to be able to uh, drive the machine for a day or two easily. And fourth, the call quality is second to none. So these are four major attributes that strongly differentiate and provide a head start for the Droid Motorola machine uh, as compared with the iPhone. In addition to that, pricing is competitive. But to me, the most interesting uh, aspect of the whole thing is the economic understanding of the situation. Cell phones are part of what we call in information economic two-sided platforms. You want to buy a cell phone these days at the high end only if it has a large number of applications. On the other hand, programmers and software companies will not develop application unless there is impressive install base, similar with the consoles of computer games. What Google has done successfully over the past year is drive a lot of developers who are developing initial application primarily for the uh, iPhone to develop similar or even better application in some cases for the uh, Droid. Some example include the Google Goggles, the uh, Wave Secure, the Shop Savvy, My Backup Pro, or Google Sky Map. And with the strong base of application, it will drive a lot of users into the machines. And I have no doubt in my mind that the Droid X will give a good run for the money for the uh, Apple Corporation in the next few weeks. It's going to be a very tight business and technology race to watch.